historical milestone is a chance to reflect on our storied past and show pride in our RCMP family. Also allows them to consider how they continue on the path to a more modern, inclusive, and trusted RCMP. Yeah, PEI RCMP and the PEI RCMP Veterans Association grateful to have the opportunity to present a cooler to the winning horse in tonight's race. And thank you to all Canadians who are helping us mark this important 150th anniversary milestone. And you know, here on Prince Edward Island, the RCMP has served with great pride for the past 91 years. It's post time for the Metro Home Building Center starting gate has the field and upstairs for the call. Here's Vance Cameron. Pineapple Express, Bankroll, Catch Me If Lou Can, Luigi Bizzacco, Fern Hill Dynamic, Shifting Views, and Big Boy Hill on the gate, top of the stretch. Here they come. The rough and facing, leaving out. That's Bankroll coming to his outside. Is Fern Hill Dynamic Pineapple Express is at the rail. Third around the turn. Catch me if Luke can. Fourth off stride. On the run goes Fern Hill Dynamic in the early going. Up the back stretch and on the outside. Bankroll the leader. Pineapple Express plays a little hardball here in the early going. Third towards the rail is Catch Me If Lou Can. Then in fourth, that is Big Boy Hill. Back into fifth, Luigi Bizzacco. Shifting views to six. Trailing the field, Fern Hill Dynamic. A solid 28 seconds flat was the opening quarter. Bank rolling the Blue Knight used. Now on the point as they swing by the 3 8 pole. Pineapple Express along the rail had long odds. Going to the outside third. There goes Catch Me If Lou Can. Following him out fourth is Big Boy Hill. On the outside fifth, Luigi Bizzacco. At the rail six is Shifting Views. On the outside seventh, Fern Hill Dynamic. Halfway home time, 57 and 3. Midway on the turn going to the 5 Eight bank roll will get him there. Here's Catch Me If Lou Can right alongside the leader. Racing from third is Pineapple Express. Here comes Luigi Bizzacco winding up fourth. On the far outside fifth is Fern Hill Dynamic. Then shifting views, Big Boy Hill the trailer. Three quarters in the books and Catch Me If Lou Can took over the lead late. Three quarters in one, 27 and two, approaching the seven eight. Catch me if Lou can, the leader, Luigi Bizzacco now second. Third up the rail is Bankroll, Fern Hill Dynamic fourth. Deep stretch now, catch me if Lou can, Luigi Bizzacco got there in the final stride for Stephen Murphy. Catch me if Lou Cam was second, bankroll third, and the time for the mile in 157 and 1. Here comes the slow-mo replay for tonight's 10th race. RCMP 150th anniversary, Pete. New record for this mare tonight. Yeah, she was storming on the end of it. Luigi Bizzacco here and gets the job done. 157 and 1. Fernhill Dynamic goes on the run. Bankroll takes the lead. 28, 57 and 3. Marcos first with Catch Me If Lou Can. Backside 127 and 2. Catch Me If Lou Can almost there, but no. Luigi Bizzacco out of the clouds, storming on the end of it for Stephen Murphy. They're going to reach up and get the gold here in race number 10. The RCMP 150th anniversary trackside presentation next.
Ladies and gentlemen, we now have a late judge's inquiry underway in the 10th race. The late judge's inquiry involves seven shifting views and possible pylon violation. Now going to the winner's circle from race number 10, the four entry, Luigi Bizzacco. Bay pacing gelding six by rock and roll heaven from the Sportsmaster Dam, Sport and Cami. Owned by Amanda McTavish of Harrington, bred by Joe Skawamba from Birmingham, New York. Stephen Murphy training and driving. The mile 157 and 1 becomes a new pacing record on for Luigi Bazacco, who upsets them in the 10. Down at trackside, the RCMP 150th anniversary, and a beauty of a cooler it is. And they're in the Woodmere Standard Bread. Winner's Circle presenting it. Luigi Bazzacco in race 10, new record, 157 and 1.